All right, let's talk about the mystery charts and the methodology in action. There's the open spreadsheet. We just have one stock left open. We'll talk about that in one second. We have two potential shorts going into tomorrow, and those have been on there for a little while. So we'll take a look at all that. So here's, um, let's see what happened to you, Elias. Okay, so here's a potential short. You can see made a bit of a triple top in here now. I don't trade directly off of bigger picture technical analysis. However, it is useful, and it can sort of, provide a little bit of a backstop for you or backing, however you want to look at it, to kind of help you out a little bit when you have these major tops in place, followed by a bow tie, a first thrust, or in this case, a little bit of both. So you can see sharp sell off, and so far it's retraced higher, and so far it has a trigger. Entries here, stop if triggered would be up here, and your initial profit target is down here. This stock looks like it's in a lot of trouble. It looks like a major tops in place, but hey, you know, routine one day at a time. One or two more big up days or, one, or up days in general, and this will likely come off. So right now, it's at a bit of an inflection point. It's trying to get back to its old highs, but look at all this overhead supply that it has to get through. So even if it did, if it did trigger, I think it would have a hard time even if it did rally back with all that overhead supply there. So interesting stuff. Here's the other setup going into tomorrow. You can see kind of a double top or rounded top or cup and handle top, whatever you want to call it. Also, what's interesting is it formed a bow tie to the downside. Now, this is a fairly clean bow tie. Notice that the moving averages came together fairly tightly and spread out quickly. There's only, it looks like just one bar of yellow down here. Now, your best bow ties are coming off of all-time highs are major, major highs, multi-year highs, or major lows. I, I'm not as excited about a bow tie somewhere in the middle of a trend where the market might sell off a little bit and then bow tie back to the upside, like we could have in that previous mystery chart I just showed soon, or even in this one if it keeps on going higher. But I do like the fact that it went from uptrend proper order, 10 greater than 20, 20 greater than 30. These are exponential moving averages except for the 10, which is simple. So 10 simple, 20 exponential, 30 exponential. I know my longer term peeps are rolling their eyes, but <laughs> if I don't say what they are, I'm gonna get emails. Uh, so I have to do that. Anyway, after the bow tie, your one bar pullback will be right here, but notice that the stock kept pulling back. Entry's here, stop is here, and the initial profit target is here. My ultimate goal with this transitional type of pattern would be to catch a major major top i'm not picking the top because it looks like the market is already top looks like it's uh it's sold off fairly hard and could be in a lot of trouble all right so those are two mystery charts here's our uh existing long it's kind of cut off down here but i'll show you in the actual chart so this down below is a screen capture from what i call my model account it's where i mimic the trades as exactly as possible to the service. Now, I say exactly as possible. There might be cases like last week or two weeks ago where I played a whole bunch of options and I ended up rolling those options and rolling out and, and adding to the position on roll downs and it worked out nicely, knock on wood, except for the last couple of options that expired worthless. But by that time, I was so far into money, it, it was I could live with it, right? And that's what trading is, making decisions and living with them, right? So sold half of this position at the IPT. And this IPT is actually a little bit lower than what I have here. I think when I updated the chart, it went up a little higher. So the IPT, I think, is down here somewhere. We were looking for, what were we looking for that? About four points or so. And we sold half. And then the mark to market, based on a little while ago, it actually closed a little bit stronger than this. But the mark to market of the remaining 200 shares was 26.72, and that's about a 600 point, 600 dollar point, a uh, 600 dollar swing, which would be about 0.6 percent, or exactly 0.6 percent, in the model account. So that's a that's a decent swing, knock on wood. Now, as you know, the market has had a lot of ups and downs since we put this thing on way back in June. Okay. And knock on wood, this position has done fairly well. So you want to see each position to its fruition, good, bad, or indifferent, as I've said before, in for a penny, in for a pound. All right, brief update on TFM 10% system. 
So the zones again, or this would be the top of the green would be 100% of the 50 week closing high. So right here, that's a 50 week closing high. Notice that zone doesn't go higher until we make a new closing high, okay? Or 50 weeks where that, that high begins to drop. And that's why back here, these zones were dropping because we were in this bit of a longer term type of spill coming into 2023. And then obviously that all changed and we started, the market started making brand new 50 week highs. Anyway, the sell would be way down here. And you can see it just dipped into the 5% zone. So this is less than 5% away from the 50 week closing high. The top of this would be 5%. The bottom of this would be 10%. And so when you're down here, again, my chart got messed up, but this 10% is down below this line here, down in this hot pink zone down here. Anyway, there's the cells, and you can find more information on YouTube slash Dave Landry if you want more information on this. But that was the last sell down here. And then the buy was, and again, everything's off. My apologies. I didn't realize, my apologies. I didn't realize it updated. But the one bar one would be here, low greater than the moving average, and bar two would be here, the low greater than the moving average. So the buy would have been right here. Buy is just simply within 10% of the 50 week closing high and two bars of Landry Light. And that's just the whipsaw filter to keep you from going in and out too much. So that's that. Now the NASDAQ, I went long 100 shares at 319.49, just kind of as a, an S and G type of trade, just to see what happened. So if stopped out, the stop would be at 424.40, which is quite the drawdown. You can see that it came dangerously close to that level. Now, keep in mind that this is a mechanical system. And when I developed it, I didn't think through a lot of things like the calendar week versus a rolling week. So it is a calendar week, would have to close below the 10% line and 10% from the 50 week closing. Now it's very simple, but it gets, it gets tricky when you try to talk about it, right? But anyway, I just recently went through an $8,000 drawdown and that's only on a hundred shares of the queue. So that's substantial. And that kind of gives you a little bit of a proof of concept without getting into it too deeply. Longer term trend following, as I preach, your drawdowns are abysmal. Your accuracy is also abysmal. But it's where the real money is. And I have sort of solved for that best, I think, that can be it can be solved for through my hybrid money management, which I'll walk you through in just one second as part of the Q&A. But anyway, that's a, that's a steep drawdown. And that's something that I'm going to touch upon in a minute is is the drawdowns to open profits, which can be can be painful, obviously.